Hello everybody. In this video I'm going to show how to use VBA programming to use an existing work with an existing workbook you have open to open up another workbook, output some data from your current workbook into that other workbook, close it out and save changes. So let me give you a demonstration really quick. I have this workbook that's already open. I have two values. They're in B2 and B3. And all we're going to do is we're going to open up a workbook that we already have that's existing but it's closed. We're going to open up this workbook. We're going to put in these two values, 5,000 and 10,000, into these two fields right here. Then we're going to close it out and we're going to save changes. So to get this started, go ahead and go to your Developers tab and select Macros. And here we're going to call this Open Workbook, Write, and then Close. Go on and select the Create button. And here's where we're going to place the code and I already have mine already set up. I'm just going to go on and transfer it over and I'll explain to you what each line does. So the first thing that we're going to do is do application that display alerts is equal to false. This is more of a precautionary measure. All this does is tells Excel to keep any kind of notifications itself silent and the purpose behind this is because your macro may be very lengthy and projects that I have macros can get very lengthy and application that display alerts is equal to false ensures that no kind of notification gets pop, pops up when the macro is running because any kind of notification that comes up will stop your macro from running and it will put it on hold until you as a user responds to the alert that showed up so this is just going to prevent any kind of prevent any kind of notifications the next thing that we're going to need to do is get the values from our existing workbook in this case, it's cell B2 and cell B3. And that's what these next two lines do. I create a variable that I just call it as value one. You can call the same whatever you'd like. Mine's just value one is equal to sheets. And then the name of the sheet that you're working with, in this case, mine says sheet one. I had this from a previous project and I had called this sheet the sheet. If you were using sheet one, then this would just be sheet one my sheet is called the sheet. So sheets, the sheet, and it's dot range. I'm looking at range B2. So value one is gonna be the value that I have in range B2, which is gonna be the 5,000 value. And then B3 is going to be the next line. Value two is equal to sheets, my sheet name, and the range. And this is all we're doing is we're creating these variables so that we have them saved in the VBA environment. The next line of code is where we open up the workbook. So you need to know where your workbook is located and you need to have the entire path. So it's workbooks.open, file name, and then your file location. This is the file location and then the file name itself. Up to here, we are just opening up the workbook and putting display alerts is equal to false. The next thing that we're going to do is output value 1 and value 2 into our new workbook. So here I'm already putting that D8 and D9 are the, are the output ranges in the new workbook. Let's just verify that. If I go to file open, I'll just go to my recent, it is my recent file. I can see that income one and income two, these are the two values that I'm going to want to put. This is cell D8 and the next one is cell D9. So you want to keep that in mind that you have your ranges already documented. So I have my D8 and D9. I'm going to output value one and value two. These are the variables that I created in the beginning of the macro. Your last two lines of code is active workbook.save and then active work active window dot close. So let's go on and try this out. Again, the output file right now does not have any kind of values in here. So let's run our macro. Open workbook, write and close. You'll see a quick flash on the screen. So let's go to that file now. And we can see that those two values are now entered. That now concludes this video. Thank you for watching.